HP here at the J. Today we're going to be going through some speed and power exercises. They're great for relaxation, breathing, footwork, and racket speed. Today I have Joe here with me. She was a top junior here in Texas. Let's do it. Let's go, Joe. So we're going to go through a series of racket speed exercises. For these exercises, we want Joe moving her feet. We want a lot of racket speed not so concerned with where the ball's going, more so that she has max racket speed through the contact when she hits. So the three progressions we're gonna do are gonna be off the bounce, out of the air, and then alternating between air and bounce. So for Continental Scrabble, Joe's objective is to position herself behind the ball. The ball must bounce. She's only allowed to hit with the Continental Grip and slice the ball. You look here, she's moving really quick. The feeds are fast. We're gonna do this from the deuce side. It's gonna be fed from the ad side and we're also gonna feed it from the other side of the net. So in doing these exercises, we usually like to do them with sets between eight and 12 balls so that the intensity stays extremely high. For the next exercise, Joe's goal is to get as close as he can to the net when striking the volley. When recovering, she's gonna make sure that she backpedals before moving on to the next shot. Notice here that there's full commitment on engaging the volley. There's no hesitation, just intensity towards the hit. So if you have difficulty backpedaling, Enrique here, he's gonna be doing the exact same exercise, but on his recovery, he's gonna be shuffling back after the hit. For the last exercise, we have getaways. Joe will be moving laterally across the net. The ball will be fed directly at her and she needs to move out of the way to make the hit. This is a great exercise for movement and reaction. Notice every time she strikes the volley, she makes a really good shoulder turn and gets her body behind the ball. So remember, hustle hit and never quit. 